Hi everyone, it's Bryce Root with The Root Group again. Welcome back. As promised, I am back to talk about how to prepare for 2018. It is coming, and it's coming soon. So essentially you have September and October as the key months where you can actually get ahead of the game before the holidays. So with that said, uh, today we're going to talk about the beginning portion of how to develop a marketing plan. You cannot develop a marketing plan without knowing who your customer is inside and out. Uh, you need to know what they're about, what makes them tick. So today, I'm going to walk you through the first part of developing a marketing plan, and that is all centered around your target customer. So in terms of the, the structural process of developing that marketing plan, step number one, you get that business goal. That business goal, that top business goal, top priority business goal that you developed during uh, the previous homework that I gave you which was to go through and develop your business goals for next year, essentially your business plan. So taking your number one business goal, you have to figure out which target customer is associated with that business goal. Is it soccer moms age 35 to 45? Is it retirees 65 plus? Is it, um, maybe it's CrossFit fanatics, uh, maybe it's foodies, uh, maybe it's kids, high school kids. Whoever it is, you need to know what makes them tick. So. When you start to look at that, here are some essentially four key areas that you need to know essentially everything about them. Ultimately, demographics is vital. Age, family situation, geographic radius uh, that they come from to visit your business or to do business with you. Do they have kids? Which schools? What's their work life about? Um, what is kind of the inner workings of their daily uh, kind of hub of being, family, uh, kids, schools, work, commuting, all that good stuff. Entertainment is another one. Social media, news and info. Uh, how do they get the news? Do they do it online? Do they watch network TV? Um, what do they read? What events do they attend? Uh, how do they watch TV? Um, when it comes to music, what do they use as a platform for music? Do they listen to a Sony Walkman? Do they listen to their iPod? Do they listen to Spotify, Pandora? You need to know all these things. When it comes to entertainment, um, these are very crucial, just like the other ones, but especially when it comes to social media, because you want to know what platforms they use, because you don't want to be spending a whole lot of time and money um, and effort on a social media platform if your target customer doesn't even use it. So you need to know exactly how they entertain themselves. Um, the second category is dining and shopping, and this is all about knowing specifically where they go to dinner, where they shop, how they shop, do they do Amazon for certain things, and do they go to Target for other things down the street, do they go downtown for certain things, what are their shopping habits, and how do they go online to do that if they do go online, what, what kind of makes up um, their mix of stores, do they, where specifically do they dine? Where do they go out on date night? Where do they take the kids? All those different things. Now the next category is activities and hobbies. So this is anything to do with indoor, outdoor, family, themselves, uh, knowing if they're into Pilates and if they're into yoga, um, where do they go to do those things? Uh, all this information may not seem like it's uh, appropriate or helpful for your business, but um, whether it's now or down the line, it will be because when it comes uh, to like Facebook ads, you can be hyper specific with how you approach and advertise to your target customer. You can, in this case in Santa Cruz County, you could uh, be able to target women in their mid 30s to mid 40s that live in Aptos that make this household income, that have this many kids, that shop at Whole Foods, that like yoga. You can be that specific. If you were to have a business where you could maybe invite um, pop-up uh, type vendors or retailers into your into your business during the holidays knowing that they go to certain places um, maybe on the other side of town or maybe um, downtown wh wherever it might be and being able to invite that entity or that business that they're in love with already into your business allows you to then get into their email newsletter onto that business's social media it's called a strategic partnership and helping each other cross market each other is uh, something pretty magical. It can bring in a lot of kind of uh, a 
lot of exposure for your business very easily and simply and affordably. So uh, the next category, which is huge, is pain points and how to make life easier. So in this category, you need to really know, in general, what makes them happy, what makes them sad, what makes them frustrated. And then when, uh, when it comes to your industry, what is going to, say for uh, tradesmen, people like in roofing and plumbing, uh, drywall, painting, all those different categories, what drives customers nuts? So once you develop that list of what drives customer nuts, is it net people not showing up for estimates, not returning phone calls? You can use all that information in your marketing communications, in your branding, in your advertising to tout the fact that you do return phone calls, you do show up on time, all those different things. So knowing uh, what would be on their wish list when it came to your industry, what, what would be the perfect scenario uh, for that customer to do business with you? What would attract them to you? And what stresses them out? All that mixed together, if you can kind of figure out what makes them tick when it comes to uh, just fitting things into their, into their life and specifically your business, how are you gonna be fit into their life? If you can crack that code, it's essential. Now, the second part of this is actually making sure that you have conversations with your target customer. This might mean uh, asking out some of your optimal customers that you already have out to lunch or maybe there's some type of gift card or arrangement that you can work out that benefits them. But being able to uh, kind of basically do a focus group and really gather intel on what they're all about and what makes them tick and how they get their social media, what they read, what magazines they read. Uh, essentially, they're gonna be telling you exactly how to reach them. Most businesses never do this and they go based on assumptions and they react to the different sales reps that come pitching them. But if you already know how to reach them, it makes your life easier and uh, actually your marketing budget is a lot less if you already know where to find them and how to kind of reach them. So this category right here, the pain points is essential. And the, the second part of this whole process is to actually talk with them. In some cases, a survey, an online survey might be helpful, but I highly recommend doing things face to face. That's where deep conversations and really big details that could be like gold for your business come out. A simple um, multiple choice question for a customer may be able to give you some important details, but them expanding on that question in person and being able to see what them and their friends, their like-minded friends are doing and what they feel and what they do is, uh, you can't beat that and it's gonna help your business so much. So once you have this intel, the next step uh, when it comes to your marketing plan is devising really what are the marketing tactics that you're gonna employ to reach them. So this will tell you, oh, I need to do more on social media. Maybe I need to do uh, a partnership with a certain shopping destination that they all go to. So basically by you finding out this information, you're gonna be able to develop the marketing plan to reach them. So in our next video, we're gonna kinda of go through those details as to how to map out a marketing plan. But this is really the essential step right here. Know them inside and out. Know what makes them tick. And know what makes them angry and what makes them happy and how you can make their life easier and happier. So if you have any questions, be sure to message me. Uh, feel free to do that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.